let's look at some additional snapshot tools. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is go to queue out, stop all this madness. And I'm going to set us up in snapshot three to see what that looks like. So now that that's set, I'm just going to add a couple of additional tabs on top of my snapshot, maybe add a patch tab, maybe add a groups tab. Right, so we have just additional tabs now that are open in this space. And let's go ahead and say record snapshot three and just look at some of the options here. Uh, you'll notice that we can touch and deselect any of our monitors and that will allow us to only record uh, the other monitor. I'm gonna touch that back on to be included. You'll also notice on the right hand side you have uh, visible workspaces or all workspaces. The snapshot can include just the workspaces that are on your screens or all of the ones that are hidden and their layouts as well. If we want to include faders and encoder pages into a snapshot, we certainly can, uh, as well as our direct selects and our custom direct selects and which favorite is in our CIA. Filters are also able to be recorded into snapshots and we're gonna look at those a little bit later. You also have the ability to select color, and with color, you can select what button color will show up if this snapshot is assigned to a direct select. So we're just gonna leave that dark for now. And finally, you get the granularity to go in and select or deselect things down to the monitor level, the frame level, or all the way down to the tab level. So for the sake of today, I'm gonna come in here and uncheck the patch and the group list display that I just added. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter and enter again to re-record over the snapshot. And you'll notice that those tabs are still up, but when I recall snapshot three, it has not included them in our snapshot. Another useful part of snapshots is the ability to change just a single tabs population. So for example, I may want to change just what's in the direct select so I'm gonna change this from being groups to being focus palettes. And I'm going to record snapshot six and I'm going to deselect everything and only select my frame two with my 4.2 direct select. And I'm gonna hit enter. So I'll recall snapshot three. And if I recall snapshot six, that's only changing that one tab. So from there, I'm gonna to go to my snapshot four. And because this is gonna change my 4.2 tab, when I hit snapshot six, enter, it takes just my tab 4.2 and puts it to focus palettes at 10 by five. Keep in mind when I record a snapshot, it's gonna show up on the command line and that allows me to type a target number and do a label. But when I am recalling just a snapshot, it's not going to show up on the command line, so it doesn't interrupt my work. You'll notice it shows up in the same area that macros show up. So I can type snapshot one, enter, and that will get me that snapshot. Just like any other target, if I want to open the snapshot list, I can double hit the snapshot button, or I can add a tab. And this allows me to see all the snapshots that I have in my file, and I can also label them here. So for example, snapshot six, label, direct select change, enter. We can also determine which snapshots will show up in our snapshot pop-up. So by default, all of my snapshots will show up in this area and I can pop it up and quickly select them. However, I can turn the favorite column off and that will prevent them from showing up in that area. So I'm gonna say snapshots two through four, enter, and that'll grab all of them. And I'm going to say favorite, enter. You'll notice that that turns them off. And now when I grab my snapshot pop-up, only one and six show up. So that allows me to reduce just the ones I want quick access to.